clip you just saw was from an event called Driftober, which was held at a track, uh, Pat's Acres, which is located in Canby, Oregon. And so I went to check out this event called Driftober, and the staff was very friendly. They let me go in, and basically I could get whatever footage I wanted, um, which was very cool. And so the problem was, I thought, all right, I've got all this great footage of cars drifting. Now, how can I share this on my channel? Drifting isn't exactly the most educational of events. Um, it's really just about having fun. So later in the week, I was talking to my mom on the phone, and I was telling her I'd just gone to a drifting event over the weekend, and she said, what's drifting? And I thought, well, that's, that's great, you know, I can just make a video on what drifting is and you know there's there's my segue into uh, how do I show this awesome footage that I have so I'm just going to explain drifting um, for those of you who are not quite familiar with it probably most of you are since you all love cars but regardless uh, drifting basically is just a controlled oversteer now oversteering is technically defined as the rear slip angle is greater than the front slip angle so basically what that means is the back of your car, the, the tires are going to lose grip and kick out, uh, whereas the front tires will still maintain grip. So the opposite is uh, understeer. So understeer is when your front tires lose grip. So basically what's happening is you've got these angles here, so I'll define a, a slip angle for you. A slip angle is the difference between the direction your car is traveling and the direction your tires are facing. So if we look at the front tires here, and this car is uh, drifting around this corner very nicely. Uh, if we look at these tires here, they're pointed in this direction. This is the green, it's the direction that the tires are pointed. And the red is the direction that the car is traveling. The car is coming in like this. So they're basically pointing nearly the same, uh, so there's just a small angle in between them, and that's the slip angle. The rear tires, on the other hand, the car is traveling this direction, and those rear tires are facing this direction, so there's a pretty large angle. So that rear angle is larger than the front, so that's considered oversteer. So, some different techniques that are used in drifting. Uh, I'm just going to go through a couple. So, if you're going into a corner, using the clutch to engage the drift. So, you'll slow down while you're coming into the corner. You'll disengage the clutch. You'll then get on the throttles to bring your RPMs up. And then you'll re-engage the clutch. And so when you re-engage the clutch, it might spin your, it'll start to spin your tires, the, the rear will lose grip, and then you just balance your tires, uh, balance the throttle as your tires are spinning to maintain that drift the whole way through. Another technique used is using a, the e-brake, a very simple technique. Basically you come into the corner while you're turning, yank the e-brake, the rear tires kick out, and then just balance the throttle. Uh, of course you got to let go of the e-brake so you don't just have that stuck, but let go of the e-brake and then just balance the throttle, keep your tires spinning as you go through the corner. And then a uh, power drift, so basically you just go in the corner and you floor it. It's very simple. Uh, the back tires kick out. Now obviously you need a rear wheel drive vehicle for doing this. Um, pretty much across the board you want a rear wheel drive vehicle. Uh, and then just balance the throttle once you have engaged in the drift. And then finally a faint drift. So as you're coming into the corner, you turn the opposite direction of the corner and then you flick the car back and it whips out the back of the car. So once the back of the car is sliding out, you get on the throttle and then maintain your drift by balancing the throttle. Uh, I'm, of course, not recommending that you do this. It's pretty dangerous, and especially if you're not in a controlled environment. And it's illegal if you're just going to do it on the road, so don't do that, obviously. Uh, and basically the reason why I made this video is so you guys could check out this video footage I got. So, have a look.